What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about the 6 healer queen charge at Town Hall 13, a hog rider attack strategy. This is something that I uh, really like lately, and I'll talk about why 6 healers, uh, why hogs instead of hybrid, um, because there's lots of you know questions in terms of the best uh, attack strategies at Town Hall 13, because there's a lot of different options you have. Um, so we're going to break this down for you guys in a couple attacks. Um, shout out to Fear for getting both these triples we're going to be looking at today. Um, first and foremost, let me say uh, why six healers. Um, and if you look at the numbers, just to start, um, there is the reduced heal for each additional healer uh, on your queen. So first two healers do 100% heal effectiveness. The third one does 90%, the fourth one also does 90%, the fifth one does 70%, and that new sixth healer we're seeing only does 40%. Um, so it is less than half as effective as those first two healers. And when, when we talk about, okay, well, why are we going to bring the sixth healer for that 14 troop space? Um, there's a couple different reasons. Uh, it does have, you know, 40%. Uh, of a healer, which does do a you know a noticeable amount of uh, of an increase in the queen's health. Um, it's not a ton, but it's going to help a little bit, especially under a rage um, where you're you know multiplying that by over I think like 200 percent. Um, it's definitely going to have an impact, and also you often are going to lose a healer to a seeking air mine, even with your test balloons. Um, it's still going to happen, and sometimes an archer tower or something will pick off a healer. Um, there's just all kinds of ways you can lose a healer in a big queen charge. So oftentimes, instead of bringing, you know, three hogs, it's worth it to bring that healer um, because you might end up with only going back down to five uh, at an important time in the queen charge if you lose a healer and you don't want to, you know, be on the ropes there um, because the queen charge is a lot more sensitive. Uh, you're not going to notice a big difference with a couple less hogs, a couple less miners, uh, even if it's a hybrid attack or something. So... The sixth healer I like in some circumstances if you're doing a big queen charge and if you're concerned you're going to lose a healer because um, oftentimes that's more pivotal than you know the hybrid. It'll either work or it won't and a lot of that's dependent on how the queen does. So uh, you want to invest the troop space that extra little bit in what's going to be the most pivotal um, factor in whether or not you get the three star. Having said that we had a nice attack here as you guys were watching in the background. Didn't really talk through it too much but um, the reason hogs instead of hybrid is that it's less uh, shape dependent because the miners will target anything. You have to create a better funnel for them. You have to use the siege barracks um, or the king to kind of take out the opposite side from where your queen is to create that nice uh, path for them to go down. Uh, in this case, he wanted to use the blimp to uh, take out an inferno tower ahead of time. So that frees up the siege machine because there's no need for a siege barracks. The hogs are defense targeting. Uh, they don't need to be funneled. Um, all you have to do is take out defenses, uh, but that doesn't require a king or a siege barracks to take out like the outer trash and keep everything inside the base. The hogs are, are better in terms of pathing like that. Uh, so that's why there's an advantage with hogs is you can be a little more flexible. If you can get a good queen charge, um, hogs are more flexible right now than Lalo even because the um, scatter shots are going to be destroying balloons and stuff. Um, hogs are much more reliable than using a Lalo on the back end. So if you have a big queen charge, you don't know what to pair it with, oftentimes hogs are your best bet. Um, this was a crazy big charge here. That last wall breaker is going to open up in an additional wall. Um, so going big with the wall breakers, I like the... Um, I, I like the uh, the boldness here. King is the funnel. And typically, um, as a personal preference, I like charging at the eagle side if you can. Because um, if it activates, you could be in trouble if it targets your queen, if it targets her healers. It'll take her out quickly. Now, if that does happen, you want to immediately drop your king if you haven't already. Or your siege barracks to get that P.E.K.K.A. out. Or even just drop the hogs. Something that will make the, uh, the eagle retarget. Because it doesn't usually lock onto the queen if there's something else for it to target. Um, so a very, very big charge here. This was crazy, the amount of value gotten. And that's why six healers is going to be worth it uh, if you're going this deep into the base here. I actually didn't even see if he lost a healer, but either way, I think it's definitely worth it uh, to have that sixth healer um, because securing the queen charge, it doesn't matter. He could have half as many hogs. This probably still would triple anyway. 
Um, so I like the use of the Siege Barracks up there. There was no need to do a, a Yeti blimp or anything. Um, this strategy obviously works best with the Multi Infernos, or at least Multi Infernos wherever you're charging from. The Single Infernos are probably even better if you're using Hogs, but um, uh, sometimes you uh, don't have that luxury. So anyway, everything comes through here. Uh, you do have to be a little bit weary of the scatter shots locking onto your hogs. Um, so that's why sometimes you see people bring freezes, to just freeze them. You can also heal over it, but if there's other damage coming in, the heal might not even be enough. So keep in mind your warden's ability. Uh, you can pair it with the hogs traversing the town hall, uh, get a scatter shot, uh, get some value covering the scatter shot as well, or something like that. Um, but just keep in mind the scatter shots can be pretty deadly, as well as um, other things that you would obviously worry about, the Barbarian King, uh, even the Royal Champ. Uh, but using your Champ with your Hogs is a good idea, because she'll take out Skellies, uh, she'll take out Defensive Heroes as well as she moves through. Um, but typically you're going to want to get the Archer Queen down with your own Queen Charge. Um, having said all that, that's the strategy, guys. Very versatile for all different types of Town Hall 13 bases. Um, look to use that sixth healer if you can afford it on the troop space. And um, yeah, typically just uh, come at the town hall side with the hogs if it's not already down from your queen charge, or the eagle side if that's not already down. Those are the two things that have to go down early, whether it's to the charge or to the hogs. But that's all I can say in this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.